Okay, so this was my first time preparing and eating a product that has been around since the 1960s and became a staple of American households. The humble spaghettio. Even if you are like me and have never eaten a can of Campbell's SpaghettiOs, you have surely heard their name. From catchphrases to jingles, this pasta product is nothing less than a pop culture icon. Despite this, the pioneer behind the invention is often overlooked. I'm Emily Gaggioli, and you're listening to A Pioneered History. Donald Gerke was a Waukesha native and one of Carroll College's most notable alumni. After serving in the U.S. Air Force during World War II, Gerke returned to Waukesha to pursue a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Carroll in 1946. While at Carroll, he exceeded both academically and socially. He was elected class president his junior year, and he served as business manager for Carroll's yearbook, The Hinakaga. He was also elected to the Who's Who in American Colleges and University by faculty on the basis of scholarship, leadership, and extracurricular activities. Most importantly, it was while at Carroll that Gerke met his future wife, Jane Marie Uthis, who was pursuing a degree in music. The two married in 1950, shortly after graduating. The Gerkes didn't stay in Waukesha for long. Donald went on to earn his master's from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and then entered the workforce. After a brief period at Valentin Blatt's Brewing Company, Gerke was hired at Campbell's Soup in 1955. And with that, the family moved to New Jersey, where Campbell's headquarters was located. Approximately 10 years later, Gerke was faced with a challenge. We have a challenge to create a pasta product that will be easy to manufacture, be able to withstand canning, and be able to get reheated without falling apart. This challenge may have seemed out of a mathematician's comfort zone, but Gerke's son, Brian, stated in an interview with UW-Madison's Always Forward that his father was always apt at combining his mathematical mind with creative thinking. This combination of skills helped as his team experimented with baseball and star shapes, searching for an answer. Eventually, they settled on the iconic O. As reported by the New York Times following Gerke's passing, this shape allowed the pasta to be thin enough for efficient reheating, but durable enough for canning. Beyond being a design success, it was a marketing phenomenon, becoming an American icon. The noodles even had their own unforgettable jingle, performed by Jimmy Rogers of Kisses Sweeter Than Wine fame. Even today, they make appearances as meals in all kinds of TV shows. Like Netflix's Glow. Powered O's. More O, less no. Now with new Caliente flavor. Olé! They also appear in several viral YouTube videos. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. We are making SpaghettiOs. So. <laughs> I don't see any cans. Well, that's I because. Cans. <laughs> I lost the can opener. Sorry. Beyond his work with SpaghettiOs, Gerke was also responsible for Campbell's famous line of chunky soups. He also served as president of their dog food division, Champion Valley Farms, which came with a few unique benefits. In a 2018 interview with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, his daughter, Anne Sora, told the story of Lassie, you know, the famous rough collie who saved countless children from wells and who also served as spokes dog for Champion Valley, showing up to her birthday in a limo, no less. Despite all these successes, Gerke never lost his Midwestern charm or humility. Nusara also reminisced in the Journal Sentinel interview about the family dinners they had together every night. She remembered her father coming home, setting aside his work, and making time for them, whether that meant eating or helping with homework. According to the Journal Sentinel's article, their father's tutoring sessions had a profound impact on the Gerke children. Brian Gerke worked in marketing at PNC Financial for 27 years. Morgan Gerke is head of women's apparel at Under Armour, and his other daughter Anne worked in finance for 15 years. However, Gerke wasn't just a numbers man in marketing, it was his understanding of the market, coupled with his creativity, that made SpaghettiO such a success. And it is this legacy that has been running strong at Carroll University, with our emphasis on a well-rounded liberal arts education. 
Unfortunately, the old can of SpaghettiOs I bought at Carol's own ABP in the middle of a pandemic didn't go down so well. Okay, here's my first bite of SpaghettiOs. Mm, not a fan. <laughs> Nevertheless, the product has impacted countless lives around the world. This podcast was researched, written, and recorded by Emily Gaggioli. Music by Emily Gaggioli. And with little sliced pranks, why take chances? Be sure you have Franco-American. Uh-oh.